Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise today to lend my support uh, to the flood insurance reform legislation that we considered on this floor yesterday and passed. Uh, let me tell you the reasons and the importance of that particular legislation. One is, is the problems that it deals with is FEMA's floodplain maps can be inaccurate and are based on old technology. Uh, property owners in the insurance floodplain plans are required to pay flood, flood insurance premiums even though they may not be at risk under the old maps whenever you look at it. For example, today I brought a, a map from uh, my district, one of the places in my district where these maps are, are wrong. This is actually Carterville, Illinois. And if you notice, uh, the floodplain comes down here from the north. Actually, that's really unique because if you'll notice right beside it, out of the floodplain is the, uh, is the creek that actually flows and the ditch that it is the creek. And the floodplain is not in that, but yet it's over in the other area here where it affects homes that are actually charged larger amounts of money on their flood insurance when they're not even in the floodplain. Yet it never even continues to flow on down to Crab Orchard Lake where the natural water flow goes so th those areas are out of the floodplain uh, according to this mapping. You know the flood zone maps, uh, uh, here's the problem. Property owners can challenge the map under existing law before we sent this over and you can challenge it but it would cost you two thousand dollars to challenge that. Or if you wanted to participate with your city, uh, the city taxes uh, would then be charged $17,000 to challenge the map. Flood insurance is vitally important and necessary to uh, the people around this nation and the security that gives to others that are not in floodplains uh, for not having a cost dropped on them. But the accuracy of these maps are vitally important. One thing that the legislation, the two things the legislation did that were vitally important, it's easier and more affordable to appeal FEMA about their maps uh, and, and, and whether or not something's in a floodplain. It also uses this higher technology to truly draft the floodplain maps in a way that uh, uh, they're fair and that the costs are not unbearable to many homeowners. Mr. Speaker, with that, I yield back.